Yeah. If I ever said I'm never scared, just know I mean it. What's up, y'all? So we are back, and it is now Tuesday, April 12th. Um, it's so rainy and so gross as that. I literally have on like the only rain jacket I could find, which is this like literal like yellow rain jacket, and I have on rain boots, and I feel like a little like elementary school girl. <laughs> I basically I talked to um, Nick, you know, post, you know, showing everything about kind of like what I you know want to do, what my goals and my intentions are for this like improvement season. Um, honestly, I've never really had a true like improvement season before um, because last summer my season ended in about April, not April, oh my god, my season ended in August and I reverse dieted um, for probably like a good six weeks and then contacted Nick, like Ben, um, started working with him for a few and then honestly entered prep for the Arnold. Um, so I really only took about, I'd say like close to eight weeks, maybe 10 tops off um, before prepping again. Honestly, like I really, not that that is not enough time, but I really do recommend um, if you are prepping, if you are competing, to take off a decent chunk of time in order to let your body recover. Um, prep is an extreme. Um, you're going for an extreme look, and you know you you put your body under so much pressure that it is good to take time off in order to let it recover, let it rest, let it you know get back to its balance and homeostasis stuff. Basically, what he told me, at least for the majority of this week. Um, to just breathe, to just find that balance again, to not track, to, you know, obviously don't go out and just eat like an idiot, but, you know, be more aware of like your body signs and signals in terms of hunger and fullness and all of, uh, that's kind of what this vlog is gonna be. You're gonna see me in my car, as always, trying <laughs> to, uh, intuitively eat I guess um, it's very hard um, especially coming off of a prep for me to do so because for 25 plus weeks I've been dieting and been eating the same exact things every single day so I will catch up with you guys in the next clip and yeah see you then I got birds in Atlanta, just a thing in the gun. Pretty cards and scams, hitting the list in the van. Legacy, fun, way see me like a pen. Going to London, Montana, all the kids are in hand. Legacy, fun, way see, fun, legacy. April showers bring May flowers or something, right? Okay, so I just finished all my homework at the library. <laughs> And um, it's like 2.30, and so I wanted to eat something, um, and I didn't really know what to eat, but then I was like, what do I want? Like, I can have anything, right? So I made myself the best salad ever, like it's huge. Um, channeling my inner Auburn Utter with this huge salad. Man, I only had three rice cakes left, so having him like three random rice cakes <laughs> and I know I knew that I didn't have a lot of my um, nuts and more left so I just like finished that there was like a little bit more than like an actual serving in there um, and put that on top and well because I finished this peanut butter and I don't really have any other like cool or good different yummy peanut butters I think I'm gonna go to Whole Foods and drop some money on peanut butter and probably other random stuff that I don't really need, but why not, you know? This and. Ooh. That's so good. Eat this and then probably go there. Because why not, you know? It's so cold in my house. I need a sweatshirt. Eee! Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.
from Whole Foods and it was kind of Okay, that was kind of dirty, but Whole Foods was kind of a bust. Um, I literally went to go get this one peanut butter that Kendall was telling me about, and I know they carry it there, and I've seen it before, but they didn't have it. So, yes, I drove 35 minutes and dragged Sam with me to go look for peanut butter. But it wasn't a complete fail because I did this. So I decided that I'm gonna do a little ice cream review for you guys with all my new friends over here. Um, so that'll be fun. Um, literally, I had a wrap for dinner, or a fajita, I don't know. So, I guess I like, kind of thought it was going to be a lot harder <laughs> to intuitively eat than it really was. Um, so, yeah, I guess it's really not that hard to eat like a normal person. Who would have thought? Mom wanted to do like a taco, fajita, Mexican night thing. And we did. I had one of those wraps. I had a bunch of chips and salsa and some extra guac. And that was really it. Like, I, I, I feel fine. I didn't die. I didn't really track today at all. And I am living. <laughs> God, I think I'm getting delusional though because I'm like <laughs> trying to finish this stupid school project that I am procrastinating on. But that's a different story. Although I Definitely I'm like low on my protein, so like maybe I'll go make some like low carb like protein pancakes or something. Cause why not? Pancakes are great at any time of the day. I don't even know what time it is right now, I think it's like 9 30. So so maybe I'll do that. Like I feel fine, I'm not I'm not like overly full at all. I'm not hungry at all. Like I'm just I just feel I just feel normal. I guess this is what normal is. <laughs> if intuitive eating um, scares you or, you know, intimidates you, because it definitely intimidated me, um, like I said earlier in this video, try it. Do it for a day. You know, if you've been tracking for a while, chances are you already have like a really decent idea or a really good idea of like how to guesstimate and like how to estimate, you know, the macros in certain foods. Um, you'll know what like four ounces of cooked chicken will look like. You'll know what like, you know, a serving of peanut butter will look like, um, you know, etc, etc, etc. So give it a shot, challenge yourself, go outside of your comfort zone, live a little. <laughs> Don't underestimate yourself. <laughs> you will most likely surprise yourself and most likely be much better at it than you think. And that just that goes with everything, not just eating and not tracking. So Thanks for watching this vlog. Um, give me a thumbs up and a comment below if you liked it and subscribe to my channel. I will definitely be doing the ice cream review for you guys um, super soon because it's not like I'm gonna wait to eat ice cream. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next vlog.